All right, week two's in the books. Let's get this thing started. Let's start off with Carolina at Atlanta. Was obviously a good game, and you know I have to give it up to Jake for settling down, playing a lot better. Obviously, the interception at the end hurts, but he did what you expect of him. He's not an elite quarterback, and he's not going to play like it. So, what they got from him was over 300 yards. Uh, the play calling was bad, really bad on the part of Carolina. They were throwing way too much, not running nearly enough because they were running all over Atlanta. Uh, they had like a hundred and close to 150 rushing yards on 25 attempts, but they went away from that. Who knows why? And Jake made the best of it. He found Steve Smith time and time again, and uh, you can't put it him this loss on him. So I think his job has to be safe. If you didn't bench him after Philadelphia, you can't bench him after Atlanta. Um, for, you know, for the Falcons' side of things, they, you know, offensively, they played almost as well as Carolina, in my opinion. Ryan looks awesome. Tony Gonzalez, that trade is looking better and better as time goes along. I had Atlanta pegged for a sophomore slump, and so far, they're proving me wrong. So, I'm very impressed by that. Matt Ryan not having a sophomore slump. Um, sophomore slump in the slightest so there's nothing you can s say but give it up to those guys and you know Matt Ryan another thing is he's avoiding the pressure really well I I know Carolina wasn't getting much of a pass rush last night but I thought a lot of that can be attributed to the way Matt Ryan played so I will say in Dal Tech Cowboy Stadium next week on Monday night the most dangerous thing in the league is an 0-2 team that has a lot of talent, like these Panthers. I'm just saying ahead of time. Uh, moving on, the Vikings and the Lions. Lions started well. You guys had me freaking out there for a while, but didn't hold. You lost by two touchdowns. Adrian Peterson, second slow start in a week in a row, and I don't know exactly what that is, but he's had a little bit of a hard time early in these first two games, but he came around. Favre played excellent, but he threw a few more times than I think he would like. I think he had like 28 passes, and he played great. He played awesome, but <clears throat> scale it back a little bit. They didn't really need him to throw as much as they did, too, because they did win by two touchdowns. So at some point this year, I think they should definitely try and give him games where he has to throw pretty much like 13, 14 times. You know, maybe give 25 carries to Adrian Peterson, 25 carries to Chester Taylor, and maybe some carries to, like, the fullback, and see where that puts you. Uh, you know, i got to give it to the Lions, because throughout this whole thing, this 0-16 and now 0-18 stretch, I think they actually have, like, more losses in a row than that. They might. Um, they are trying. This is not the team giving up. This is not the team trying to lose so they can get their coach fired. This is not a team that just feels like they don't want to go out there and try hard. This is a team that is just really bad. But it's not for lack of trying, and i got to give it up to them for that. I always thought if we ever saw a team this bad, it would be because they were intentionally screwing up to get somebody fired. But no, this team just sucks in terms of talent. Uh, Cincinnati, Green Bay, um... You know, looking at the way Green Bay has played these first two weeks, the offense not really clicking yet. 14 of their points came because of the defense on uh, picks by Charles Rogers. So, really, their offense only had to work for 10 of those points. And it was a good game. I mean, I've watched this whole game, and i got to say Carson Palmer played excellent. <clears throat> you know, he threw the two... The two picks were really bad. He should not have thrown those picks, but he bounced back and played really well. Cedric Benson, showing everybody that maybe it wasn't him in Chicago all along. Maybe it wasn't his fault. He's really been a bruiser for that uh, Bengals team so far. And, you know, really the Packers defense made big plays, but they struggled against the minutia of the Bengals offense. So, really, I'm looking at the Green Bay offensive line, and now that has me thinking maybe Green Bay isn't who I thought they were this year. Because if you watch this game, I watched the whole thing, their offensive line was atrocious. And, and namely in pass blocking. I mean, wow. They were getting destroyed. I, I'm sure you all have seen Antoine Odom, five sacks. But it's not just that. 
Rodgers was getting pressured all game. That offensive line did not give him a chance. <clears throat> it, it was gruesome. I mean, Rodgers just got destroyed out there. He got sacked, I think, seven or eight times. It, it was bad. And I'm looking at Alan Barber, the new right tackle of Green Bay, as uh, the guy maybe they need to take a look at because they don't have Mark Tauscher anymore. Maybe they can try and get him back because I don't think anyone signed him, but that was that was ugly. And now I don't know how good they really are going to be this year because, honestly, Minnesota's looked better so far, and, you know, I think they're better than Chicago, but um, right now they're chasing Minnesota as of right now. Uh, Arizona, man, uh, I got murdered in Pick'em this week, and it was teams like Arizona screwing me over. You know, Warner did everything he could in the week one and the preseason to convince people that he was washed up. And then he goes and has one of the best games in NFL history, arguably. I mean, 24-26, he 93% completion rating. That That's off the charts. I don't know if it's among the best quarterback performances of all time, but it was damn near flawless. As a matter of fact, by the standards we usually hold NFL quarterbacks to, I'd say that's pretty much flawless. I, I don't think there's anything you can take away from that game. And... You know, Jacksonville, you, you disappointed me. I really thought what you did last week against Indy was um, meaningful. I really thought, I watched that, I mean, I saw what happened in that game, and I thought this defense is tenacious, but they got reamed over. They got destroyed by Kurt Warner, and, you know, I still think they could be a decent team, but you got to win at home against these West Coast teams. Arizona went into Jacksonville, and had a 31-3 to lead at one point. And Jacksonville tried their little comeback. They had the opportunity, I felt, to actually get back in that game, but it never fully materialized. <clears throat> and, you know, really the offense was able to move the ball well, but they had a little bit of a hard time scoring. So I don't know who exactly to look at there. But, you know, I'll say guys like Torrey Holt are not being the number one target fully that they need from their... um wide receivers so you know I'm not jumping ship on Jacksonville quite yet but this was a game they should have won you know I mean not throughout this game I mean they were getting destroyed on the field I'm saying beforehand you can say this was a game Jacksonville should have been able to take care of business Oakland and Kansas City uh good lord you know Jamarcus Russell I'll, I'll say this you didn't turn it over and that's <laughs> Uh, grasping at straws, yes, but good lord, I think he completed like six passes today, I mean yesterday, good god, he has a cannon for an arm, but he is ridiculously inaccurate, it's ridiculous, and you know, he completed like one or two big passes on that last drive that won Oakland the game, but man, you know, when I watched him against San Diego, I was like, this guy has a strong arm, he's got a cannon, but he is so inaccurate, well, he, that performance had nothing on what he did against Kansas City yesterday. But uh, Oakland's defense did what they... The same kind of thing they did against uh, San Diego. That Oakland defense, Tom Cable has those guys playing excellent. They are just manning up, saying, I'm better than you, you're going to have to beat me. And they are getting the job done. They are covering receivers one-on-one. -on -one. <coughs> Their pass rushers are beating the opposing offensive linemen and you know it's a team that's moving in the right direction and they got their first win of the year it was ugly but they'll take it I I really don't have anything to say about the Chiefs so let's move on to the Patriots and the Jets and I am so impressed with this Jets team they look like they're gonna compete for the division title and right now I gotta say they they look like the best team of that division um, you know 16 to 9 victory very defensive. Early in the game, they were babying uh, Mark Sanchez. They were being very careful with Mark Sanchez. And, you know, later in the game, they kind of let him loose. And he made his coaching staff and the Jets front office proud. He threw a touchdown. He didn't turn it over. <coughs> uh, he might have had one fumble early in the game. But he, out, he was the better quarterback out there on the field yesterday against Tom Brady, who was not sharp at all he really looked shaky out there and you know your mind goes back to the ACL and MCL injury he had last year and you're wondering maybe he's not a hundred percent back from that 
and maybe he'll never be the same because when you're looking at it these first two weeks Brady has not looked very good and you know against Buffalo he did come up with a big drive at the end of the game in this game he had a chance to have a big drive and just fell flat on his face um, you know there's really I know Welker and Mayo weren't playing but that doesn't really matter and I'll say that there's no connection between Brady and Galloway yet it, it's not there yet but you still have Randy Moss, who, by the way, Darrell Revis shut down, and Darrell Revis is making a run at being the best cornerback in the league right now. I'm not saying he is, but he is making that case. <clears throat> shut down Randy Moss and Andre Johnson in the first two weeks. Rex Ryan looking like a genius right now. I mean, we gave all the credit in the world to, this Balti to those Baltimore Ravens defenses for being so great, and they are. But, wow, I mean, you got to give a huge amount of credit to Rex Ryan with what he's done with those Jets, and... Look where they are.